The year was 1951, and players on the USF football team were headed for a bowl game. They never made it, but not for lack of talent, because of prejudice. But as Wayne Friedman reports in his notebook, 49 years later, they may finally get the recognition they deserve for their skills on the field and for their courage off of it. They never won a Super Bowl, but 49 years ago, the men you see here practically owned this town. 9-0. 9-0. Oh. Oh. Yeah. One year short of half a century later, the SF Dons of 1951 remain the best football team that time has ever forgotten. A team that went undefeated, untied, and uninvited to a bowl game because of two black players, Ollie Matson and Burl Torn. No Negroes would play in any bowl game in Florida. The commissioner said that. His name was Wolfson, yes. That's, that's his quote. Bill Hanneberry played backup quarterback on that team and Bob St. Clair at tackle. He tells us the team could have been in a bowl if Matson and Toller had stayed home, but the members of that squad wouldn't even consider it. You have to remember one thing. In 1950, anything south of the Mason-Dixon line, you had some problems uh -huh. as far as racial prejudice. We couldn't understand that. I think that was the reason why it really didn't hit home until many years later. Well, I know that Senator Barbara Boxer is now pushing a resolution, which uh, I understand is sitting on President Clinton's desk, to, in essence, apologize yeah. to the 51 football team of the University of San Francisco for what happened. Yeah, uh, and that uh, really uh, brings back the, the memories. to the game that uh, hadn't been seen too much. A big back, 212, 215, with great speed. The Giants ready to go. The Cardinals need a big play. Here's the pass over the middle, and Matson's in the open. Slates a tackle. Runs between the two halfbacks. It goes all the way, and he's going to walk in standing up. Holly Matson. What they really didn't realize is that I would go up to them and then all of a sudden I pull away from them and they couldn't understand it. They thought I was all out. That's when I think speed. But I feel that you have to have the agility and you have to have quickness to get to that hole real quick. And of course, naturally, when you get into the secondary, you just pull away from your whole chip. Pitch out to Matson, swinging wide to the left. He's in a little trouble. May have to reverse his field. He does. Goes completely the other way. He's in all kinds of trouble. Laterals the ball back. And here's a pass at the end of the lateral. Way down the field for the touchdown. What a play. They pitch out deep to the left side to Ollie Matson. Has a little trouble, but turns the corner. He's got five, 10, 15, 20 yards and stumbles at the 40. Picks himself up. He was not in the grasp of a tackler. He might go all the way. He's going to go all the way. Rams driving hard. Good pass protection. Pretty good pass rush. But you know, a lot of people thought that uh, when they traded number 33 to the Los Angeles Rams in exchange for nine players that they were out of their minds. Well, Paul, actually, I thought that the Rams got the better end of the deal because, as you know, uh, during that time, I was the only drawing card that the Cardinals had, so they gave me up to go there, and I thought the Rams really got the better end of the deal. The handoff to Matson cracks over the right side, runs to daylight, gets a big hole, and streaks into the secondary. He's all alone in the open and in the end zone. Rams on the move, they go to Matson. Good hole, cuts back inside, breaks into the middle. Matson has a chance to go all the way, he does. Rams are pinned up close to their own goal line. They're going to throw from the end zone. They throw deep down the middle. Ollie Matson in the open. Makes a great catch and breaks into the clear. Matson all alone is going to go coast to coast. A tremendous play. You know, he looks back, we've seen some fantastic film of number 33. And your high school career, your college career, and on into the pros. I guess the culmination of all that hard work, the most enjoyable moment of your life had to be in Canton, Ohio, when you're inducted in the Pro Football's Hall of Fame. 
And Ollie, we have that speech. To you many, many people and fans, and believe me, you have thrilled me. Because when I was driving down the street and I saw all the people that were out there and they were hollering Ollie Matson, this made me feel for Ollie Matson. Maybe you have done something. Ollie G. Matson II, born May 1, 1930, in Trinity, Texas is a former professional American football running back who played in the National Football League in 1952 and from 1954 to 1966. He graduated from George Washington High School in San Francisco in 1948. Matson attended the City College of San Francisco prior to transferring to the University of San Francisco. While in school, Matson became a member of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. Matson was elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1972 and into the College Football Hall of Fame in 1976. Matson also holds a bronze medal in the 400-meter run and a silver medal for the 4x400-meter relay from the 1952 Summer Olympics held in Helsinki, Finland. Ali Matson, a true American hero, his story must be told. <laughs> 